Anil Sukumaran's daughter is an NRI and wants to invest in mutual funds. Her time horizon is seven years and she's 27 years old. She's investing for higher returns. So he's asked for your advice on funds that are suitable and the formalities to invest in mutual funds for NRIs. Uh, well, I'd suggest that given her time horizon, she can consider aggressive hybrid funds, which should be suitable for her uh, uh, in investment horizon. That's one. Now, in terms of the formalities for an NRI, one is that you can invest uh, through an NRE or an NRO account because fund companies do not accept investments in foreign currency. Uh, so that's one. Uh, second is to be able to invest, she would need to complete some on onboarding and some KYC formalities and she would need to go through some documentation. She would need to furnish documents like her PAN card, her passport, uh, an address proof for her foreign residents and things like that. Uh, also, if uh, she is a US or a Canadian citizen, then she would have to comply uh, with some ad additional requirements under the FATCA rules and uh, she would need to fill up these additional forms. Uh, in fact, because of these additional FATCA compliance requirements, some fund houses do not accept investments from US or Canadian citizens. Uh, so those are the kind of formalities that she would have to uh, complete. Uh, and also uh, bear in mind that for an NRI, uh, there are TDS laws which are applicable on capital gains. So while the overall applicability of capital gains for an NRI is same as a resident Indian, uh, but in case of NRIs, a fund house is liable to deduct TDS uh, from the capital gains accruing to them at the time of redemption.